Typically, wood filler takes a really long time to dry if you're filling an area bigger than a quarter inch. But it also isn't very strong and it shrinks and cracks easily, especially on larger areas. Bondo wood filler dries really hard in about a half an hour, so you can move on to the next part of your project quickly. Plus, it's a thinner consistency, so it's easy to spread over the chip veneer. You can use a couple of different types of Bondo and I'll link the other cheaper kinds in the description below. So let's get to it. First, chip off any remaining veneer that is lifting up or is loose. For best results, scuff sand the area you're working with to help the Bondo adhere better. Then grab something to mix the Bondo on. I typically use a piece of cardboard or a piece of scrap wood. Open up your container and mix your Bondo base a little bit and then get a little bit of the base out of the container and put it on your board. Then squeeze a little bit of the red hardener onto the Bondo. The more hardener you mix into the base, the faster the Bondo will set up. It also starts to harden up really, really fast. So once you mix it up, you have to work fast. Quickly mix the base and the hardener together until it's completely mixed up and one solid color. Working really quickly, scrape the wood filler over the chipped off veneer area, leaving a little bit of excess amount of Bondo, so then you can sand it down smooth and flush with the wood around it. Then let the Bondo dry for a half hour to an hour. When you come back, the Bondo should be hard. Next, grab your power sander with some 220 grit sandpaper and sand the wood filler down until it's flush with the rest of the wood. Once it's sanded flush, you'll be able to see the jagged edges of where the veneer chipped off. If there are any areas that you didn't fill enough, you can go back and do a second round of Bondo. Or if there are really small specks that didn't get filled, you can fill them in with regular wood filler. After that wood filler or Bondo is dry, just sand it down again to make it nice and flush. And then you're ready to paint your stain. If you want a stain, it's best to use a gel stain instead of a regular wood stain that needs to soak into the wood. If you paint, make sure to seal it or prime it before painting. Here's how this nightstand looks after I painted it. You cannot tell that there was any damage before. And here's a picture of a piece that I stained after using the wood filler. I'll link this stained makeover in the description below. Plus, I'll be sharing how I painted these nightstands in my next video. If this video was helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks a bunch!